Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. Thank you for watching Martha Runs the World Monday edition, Monday bulletin, or whatever you want to call it. I don't even know what I'm calling it <laughs> at all. But I do know that every Monday I do a short little video just recapping something. I, I pick a different theme for every week. And we're going to talk about my weekend. We're, we're going to talk about my Saturday of this weekend. Just a real, real uh, short review and why I'm really excited about it. I had a great weekend, really fabulous weekend. I volunteered at the first real race for Coastal Trail Runs. So races are back, people. They are back. Woohoo! And I am so excited. Yes, yes, yes. Finally, we get to see each other in person. Us runners have been waiting so long. I mean, I'm a pretty, I like being by myself and I'm a pretty solitary person, but even I miss being around other people, especially at races. I miss being with my fellow runners. I miss the company of being in races. And I just miss the whole atmosphere of a trail race. Trail races are just so much fun to be around. So I decided, well, I can't run, obviously, until after my surgery, when I get my bionic hip in October, but I can volunteer, at least today, or at least now, before it gets too bad. So, and and Saturday was the, their first real race back since COVID shut everything down. So it was the San Lorenzo River Trail Run. It's a fun race, I've heard. It goes through the San Lorenzo River once or twice. Uh, it's been kind of a, a not a great year for rain, so the I guess the river wasn't very high. It's been up to up to the waist some years, but this year it was like only like up to people's shins, so it wasn't very deep. But I, I definitely am going to do this race next year. I really am. It looked like a lot of fun. But they have the they have a 10k half marathon, a 30K, a marathon, and a 50K distance, distances. And I helped with checking in people. I helped check in the half marathon distance folks. And then I gave out medals. And a really just a fun day, a fun time. I had to get up extra early. I got up at 4 a.m. after working 12-hour shift. I Every Thursday and Friday, I worked 12 hours each day. So it... It wasn't really a lot of fun getting up at 4 a.m., but I did it, and I took took um, Lyft, or no, I took Uber down to South City. They charge too much, but that's a rant that you're going to have to hear my episode this week for my full rant. I'm not going to get into it now, but you'll have to listen to the podcast this week in my Tales of the Trail where I go into a rant about that. But I went down and I met my friend and we drove down together he did the half marathon distance and i just get i gave up medals and 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 had a good time hung out with him after the race and then we drove back we stopped at in and out burger and had lunch and then drove back and it was really interesting because in santa cruz it has its own weather it's like it's on a on um a bay like san francisco so that it, it stays a lot cooler most of the morning it was nice and, and cool. It was in the high 60s. It got close to 70, so it was really nice weather. So that as we go over the, the Santa Cruz Mountains, the pass, Highway 17, over the mountains of Santa Cruz, down into San Jose, it was like 90. So it was really big difference in temperature, like 20 degree difference. So it was kind of nice being in the, in the lower, cooler temperatures. It was the perfect degree. It was like 68 degrees, which is like the perfect temperature for running. So the runners had really good days. I think the the half marathon times, they got new PRs. And I think the the 30K, I think he missed PRing it by like a minute. It was pretty insane how fast people were. It, it was a good day for running. It was a beautiful day. It was perfect perfect weather conditions. And everyone had a nice time. Everyone was smile. Everyone was all smiles because we got to see each other again. We haven't seen each other for over a year, so it was that was really fun. So I'm glad I was I was a part of it. So please sign up for races, even if you're out of shape, even if you're not 
not ready, sign up for a 5K, a 10K, whatever you can. And if you don't want to run, volunteer. Because I'll tell you, they could have used a lot more volunteers at at San Lorenzo yesterday. They, I know Coastal Trails will need more volunteers at their races. So if you have trail races in your area and you don't want to run, volunteer. Because we should all volunteer. And I'll probably have a show on volunteering and why it's important and the different types of of uh, places and spots you can volunteer at at a trail race and how important they are and I'll talk about that in a, in a, in a future show so um, yeah I think that I think it's just so much fun that we're having races come back and I know some places have had them for a while now yes I, I, I understand that but a lot of us haven't so we're getting them back everything is coming back country is opening up so please go run go sign up for a race and support your local run at sorry and support your local race companies and check out the show this week it a new episode airs tomorrow it features uh miriam gilbert who has uh who has a really interesting story to tell she's an ultra runner and she also suffers from b12 deficiency and you can't you don't want to miss that you really really want to listen to that. And until then, have great runs. Talk to you soon.